Okay, hello and welcome to another episode of French Takes a Quick Look At. Today we're playing C12, Final Resistance on the PS1. And I'll be totally honest, this game is a bit of a mystery to me. I'm just having a quick look at the controls, you know, just in case, as I need to, because, you know. Okay, I'll be totally honest, I say that, and then I completely paid no attention. So I will ramble on about a bit more about this, but let's click new game and just get right on it straight away. Okay, this seems like it's going to be a long bit of text. So I guess I'll just do a little bit of preamble before this. So I think this game came out in like 2001. I'll be totally honest, I never owned it. I've never played it before. I do remember seeing it a fair bit like in PlayStation magazines at the time but I don't really remember anything about it. Like, I remember seeing it, but never, like, anything, a massive amount about it. Okay, so, let's, uh, quickly just read through this. Against all the odds, uh, against all, all the odds, Carter has finally completed the cybernetic alterations to Lieutenant Vaughn. Under our limited test conditions, the adaptive implant appears to be fully functional. I personally have strong reservations conditions how useful this device will prove in, prove in real combat the conditions remains unknown. Wait. Okay, yeah, that was two sentences, sorry. Uh, the, opera the operations have also left Vaughn with a heavily disturbing appearance. I periodically have to break my eye contact as I find myself gazing at the glow, at the glow of the implant, or, almo or almost as bad, the scar tissue surrounding it. To his immense credit, Vaughn appears to have accepted this without reservation. Uh, wait. There we, there we go. Vaughn, uh, Vaughn has more than proved his combat worth, executing the rescue mission to retrieve Major Dan Carter and myself from alien internment. Uh, much although I applaud his bravery, I damn his tactical understanding. The mission should have never been attempted in the first place. Only Vaughn and I got out of there alive, the whole squad was decimated and Dan was never located, and as Dan's wife is our head science officer, only she was qualified to perform the cybernetic alterations on Vaughn. The situation is bloody awkward, but there's no point in languishing over it now. Since the alien invasion, our numbers have been dwindling ra dwindling rapidly. Uh, our units are brave enough, but consistently outfought and outgunned. The aliens have far superior weaponry to us and exploit technology in ways we never predicted. The aliens have captured our, our soldiers, brainwashed and modified them, and then used them as weapons against us. And our nuclear weapons are useless. If we dare use them, we'll annihilate ourselves in the process. Uh, head science officer Carter has convinced me the only way to fight Squid... Uh, to fight squarely against our alien en enemies is by using their own technology against them. We've been reduced to making our finest soldier a walking mutant. Morally, it's utterly questionable, but it's got to be done. We don't stand a chance otherwise. Also, I don't know why I can just keep scrolling down here, but I can. Anyway, let's just, uh, I assume we'll have a cutscene here. Okay, Vaughn, let's get down to business. <clears throat> we lost contact with the outpost some five hours ago. Now, the recon team we dropped in has gone missing as well. You've got to find that outpost, track down those recon boys, and then report back to me. Understood? Yes, sir. Can you tell me what's waiting for me, sir? Cyborgs. Lots of them. And alien activity. Alien flyers are everywhere. I guess your best bet for getting across the city is using the old train network. Excuse me, sir. Uh, we're going to have to let the lieutenant down here. Nearly time, Vaughn. I'll be watching the output of your implant with Dr. Carter. We'll be with you as much as we can. Evening, Riley. Don't forget, I'll be providing you with any intelligence on the enemy that I can muster. Thanks, Dr. Carter. Okay, time to roll. Vaughn out. Okay, so I guess we're playing as Lieutenant Riley Vaughn. Okay, so we can run around. We appear to have, like, a plasma blade it as a weapon available to us. Uh... Okay, we can crouch. Ouch, we can... Okay, I guess we can kind of strafe and look. Okay, we can go at first person mode. Oh, what the... Uh, what does the walkie-talkie do? I guess it must just, like, explain and stuff to you. Okay, that's fine. And L1 doesn't seem to do anything right now. And that is immediately going to be something I'm going to have to struggle with for three of us. Because I've immediately realized, uh, camera is on my arch nemesis in game design, inverted controls. Uh, I'll be totally honest, I've never been someone who's been a big fan of inverted controls. Okay, so we have... 
Well, those enemies went down very quickly and in a rather anticlimactic ma uh, manner. Sorry. Like, they went down in like two or three hits each and it didn't really do a whole lot. Okay, we have a gun now, so that's kind of cool. Okay, L1 switches weapon. So I guess we can just shoot stuff now. Okay, so... Where's an, where's an enemy? Oh, there's one. Uh, maybe if I aim. What's our what? Wait. Can it stick? Cyborg drone construction unit with a powerful welder arm. Okay, so I guess it has no, like, ranged attack. Oh, okay, I guess we got a little cutscene here. Well, that goes a communications tower or something, so I guess I can't go that way. Well, let's just run up to this and shoot at it. Okay, well, that went down without any fight. And so did that. You know what? I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna complain. Okay, we can get some bullets. So that just refilled all of our ammo. Okay, there's another one. And it's gone. <laughs> Simple as that. So, so far, obviously this is the first level. But I didn't see a difficulty select or anything. So I assume that this game must just have, like, one difficulty set, and it's just the one I'm playing on. Obviously, this is a tutorial stage, so it's probably just to, like, ease me into the game. But so far, uh, feeling pretty comfortable in this, and this is blocked, so I suppose I have to head on over here. Uh, into Central Station. Okay. So what do we have in here? Anything? I mean, it, well, that's some enemies. Okay, I guess. Oh, that's not an enemy up there. Looks like the railway okay, sort of. Simple. Find I, backup generator I didn't need to do that, but that's okay. From there. Uh, what's this? Save point. Okay, good, and I can save if need be. Okay, so let's have a quick look over here. What do we have? A shield? Riding okay. Over there. That's one of the alien shields. It should provide you with some useful cover, but be careful. Our research data proves they can only sustain a limited number of hits. It's to do with their cell technology. Find more shields then, and it'll last you longer. Okay, so it's like a shield that I can turn on and off, I guess. But I have to... Okay. Well, this seems like a blocked dead end. Oh, there's a ladder there. So I guess let's just uh, push this crate and climb this ladder. Okay. To clamber onto it. Not to climb up, just to clamber onto it. Oh, that is some weird ladder climbing, but okay. Well, that, that collapsed. Oh, okay, I see how this is gonna go. This'll get, this is gonna get electrified or something, isn't it? I feel like that's the foregone conclusion here, right? Okay, this looks like where I need to go, so I'm gonna check the uh, surrounding areas first, just to... Oh, what's going on here? Okay, I guess another cutscene and be like, hey, another building fell down, so you can't go this way. <laughs> I guess this... I guess this game will kind of just cut off exploration, I suppose, in order to just go, yeah, uh, go this way. No, no. Honestly, I don't really have a complaint about that, to be totally honest. And let's just shoot that enemy in the spine, because, well, if it's not going to see us, we're probably going to comfortably get through it. Uh, what did that say? Press X one, highlight. Okay, so we just press the button. I assume we just press the other one. And that will have turned on something. Okay, it's a train. Cool. However, uh, it appears that... Just as expected, electricity is now on. Nice job, Thorn. Oh, he didn't have anything else to say. It was just a nice job. Okay. Riley, about your implant. It's also there to give you information on your immediate surroundings. Get something under your focus point, and the database linkup will provide you with useful feedback. Okay. So, am I just guaranteed to take damage here? What's going to happen? That's damage. That's damage. That's damage. Was I just, like, forced to take damage there? Was that, like, uh, was that avoidable? Or... Could I have just gone 
Okay, I couldn't have just uh, crouch walked through there. Okay. Well, we got a couple of more enemies here, and they're dead now. Okay, that one dropped health, so I guess I'm back to nearly full health. Shield doesn't appear to have respawned. Let's be careful and not fall on the fire, so let's just get on this train. Away we go! I will say, so far, this game is kind of fun. It's not exactly challenging so far, but I don't know. So far, it looks pretty okay. Wait, wait, I'm taking damage from this? Am I gonna die to that? Can I die to that? Because I don't know if there's a way for me to avoid that. I'm just gonna crouch in this corner and hope I'm safe. Because if I die to stuff in the environment that I can't avoid, that will irritate the life out of me in no end. Is there anything over here? I probably shouldn't check, to be honest. Especially when I'm on low health and I know that that rail is probably electri electrical? Whatever. Elect electricity's on it, so I could die to that. You okay? Those things, they attacked the hospital. We tried to hold out, but it was useless. They must have thought I was dead. They butchered all the injured men. I had to watch as they... Easy, soldier. Hold on. I'll find some morphine and fix you up. Be careful, sir. Those things, those cyborgs, they're still out there. Okay, so, during that cutscene, I quickly just uh, brought up Wikipedia, just to, like, get a little bit of information about this game. Uh, apparently it was developed by a Sony Computer Entertainment Cambridge, and came out in 2001, and then came out in North America, like, a year later. So, by the time this game came out in North America, like, the PS2 had been out for a while. Uh, wait, that, wait, that enemy has a flamethrower, and I can't see it. Well, that wasn't great. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be careful here. What? That looks like eyes. Like, I don't know why, but like, that? I don't know. Does anyone else see that? Like, the, the kind of circle points there looking kind of like eyes. I don't know if that's intentional, but it's kind of cool and a little bit ominous visually. Also, I'm going to avoid doing this because apparently since I'm on low health, uh, yeah, it's going to make a loud noise. Oh, well, there was something there. I am on, I am so close to dead, I need to find a place to heal. Like, I am probably like one hit away from dying, so uh, let's see if I can get anything through here. No, but I need a regular keycard. I have the alien keycard. Uh, okay, that's a meta box. So that should be a heal. But I need that to heal that guy. So let's just quickly run back. And I don't know, hopefully the game will be nice and give me a heal for helping that guy. I assume that this wasn't optional that I like had to do this, but well, we'll go figure that one out when we get there. Uh, meta box. There you go. Ugh, thanks. Vaughn to base. I've got a man down in Sector 34F. We need a medical backup team in here to get him out. Over? Loud and clear, Recon 2. We'll do. Over and out. They're coming to get you. It's gonna be all right. Listen, did you see any sign of Recon 1? Sorry. No, can't say as I did. Hey, there is one thing, though. I almost forgot. Take this key. It's for the supply room. There's got to be something in there you could use. Thanks, and good luck! Okay, so, I will note so far that I'm on super low health. I'm like one hit away from dead, but I feel like 90% of the damage that I've taken has been from, like, the environment. Okay, alien keycard works on here, so the regular keycard must work on here. No, let, let me just use the key card again. There we go. So what do we have in here? Anything? Bullets. Is that a Okay. Okay, that is a small heal. Good. Good, good, good. Now, where, where are we out to next? 
Okay, that looks like a those are alien surveillance droids. They're night vision four, but they're fitted with highly sophisticated motion tracking devices. My advice is to avoid them. If they spot you, they're likely to alert other droids and cyborgs in the area. Well, that's good information to have. I wish it this game would have like fully explained that, you know, before I did that. But you know what? I managed to kill the enemies. Also, I don't know if I got I don't have like checkpoints or anything or a thing in this game, so I'm just gonna save. Like I don't know if this is going to be a situation. Yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be a situation where I got checkpoints, or like if I die, it just kicks me back to the main menu. So I'm just gonna save just as a safety precaution, I think. Mostly because if I die, I don't want to lose like the 15 minutes of this that I've played. Also, I picked up grenades here. Like, it's how I picked up grenades, so let's find an enemy to test this out on. Also, this is, like, the weirdest ladder climb animation I've ever seen. Can I just shoot these enemies from up here? I feel like I should be able to. Uh, I cannot. I apparently cannot shoot that to there. But I can fire a grenade. Turns out, pressing square, fired a grenade. And this thing can't shoot at me <laughs> from here either, so I can just fire a grenade at it. 10 out of 10. Gaming from safety, I suppose. Okay. Wait. Okay, it's pointing me in... Oh, there's an enemy up there, by the looks of it. Oh, yeah, the game's pointing me at an enemy. Man, these enemies really can't aim. Like, I was stood still and that thing did not hit me. Okay, I need armed explosives. Warned, your access has been blocked. You're gonna have to blast your way through. Head to sector 35F. You'll find a demolition site there. You should be able to find some explosives. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so can I get anything up here? Can I climb up? No. Okay, I guess I was just an enemy up there. Oh, there's an enemy there. It has a flamethrower. It's dead. Oh, health. Health drops, my beloved. Okay, so there goes that. And we got some more health back. Very nice. Because I'm back to like, uh, I don't know, like two thirds, three quarters of my health bar now. Uh, let's check it. Let's check here, I suppose. Okay, so this looks like. Okay, this is like a car park, like a multi-story car park, I suppose. Obviously, we've gone like down. Oh, we are getting shot at. Uh, okay, I know this won't work for the entire game, but like, if I can just face tank everything, that'd be hilariously funny. Oh, you'll be glad to see you, sir. A whole bunch of mutants jumped us back here. We were nearly all wiped out. Dabo didn't make it. Thank God we made it out with the detonator. That's some consolation, I suppose. Now, let's get you out of here. Riley, to base, do you read me? Loud and clear. Over. I'm with Recon 1. They're being held in an alien force field. I'll have to deactivate it before I can free them. The force field is controlled in the same way as we've seen before. That means getting hold of an alien key card. Search out the lead drone. He'll be carrying it. Understood. Out. Sir. You saw the other cyborgs heading down to the lower level. Okay, listen guys, sit tight while I go scouting. Back soon. Okay, off we go. And I'm back to full ammo, aside from, I'm a shot a few grenades. Oh, well, that's uh, some health, so I'm nearly back to full health as well, perfect. That sounded like an enemy down there, but honestly, I'm not too worried. <laughs> because, well, there that goes, and I'm back to full health. Uh, that, that is not an openable door. So I guess let's just keep going. And just drop down here. And, okay, this will be a screen transition. Wouldn't it? Where was that one aiming? And apparently that was the lead drone because now we have the key card. So I guess let's uh, head back up. I guess I should... Okay, I assume this must be a stealth section where I need to just where I need to just dodge these drones. 
Uh, so this is probably going to be... So hopefully I can do this first try, because otherwise this will be a shining example of... Uh, well, this will be the first of hopeful of potentially many in future playthroughs of things, where I just demonstrate that I cannot do stealth sections. Like, okay, okay, clean. Are we out? Are we for real? Looks like it. Yeah, I'm really bad at stealth sections, which honestly is kind of funny because I absolutely adored Metal Gear Solid, like, in all of those games. But I can't stand playing, uh, whatchamacallits. I, I don't like stealth games very much. Wait, was that another place I was supposed to use the keycard that I just missed? Because evidently, I can't do that. Okay, let's let's run back around and just check it out again. If the enemies wouldn't have respawned, but I'll have to stealth my way through. Eh, but I will have to stealth my way past the drones again. I will say, it, it, like... While I can't claim to have felt particularly, like, challenged by this game yet, I am having, like, a bit of fun. Okay, there goes that. Okay, so that can allow me to... Okay, yeah, that's the exit to the area. And where I came in from. So now I just need to stealth past these drones again. Hopefully they don't see me. There we go, past the first one. Why am I going go in here? Can I go in here? I can't. It's apparently a dead end. I got spotted. Okay, yeah. I've... Do I have to go all the way back around now? Oh well. I don't know if that even summons... Well, it doesn't... It won't summon... Like, I don't know if that spawns any new enemies. But it... But since it... It, like, clearly showed that the place relocked. So I guess I have to run back and do it again. So, uh... Back to work, back to the start. So I guess we just have to do this stealth section again. And hopefully I won't get spotted this time. I mean, I probably won't because I managed to navigate it the first time and I didn't get distracted by another, like, potential side route that I, that turns out, couldn't do anything with it. So let's just uh, keep moving, I suppose. And we are through. Okay, you know what? I... I I was prepared for a stealth section that I would struggle with, but as it turns out, no, no, that was that may be the easiest stealth section I've ever done in a game. And let's just do this and rescue these guys. Thanks, Joe. You better go back and lie low. Give me the detonator, and I'll take it from here. Here, kids. See you back at base. Good luck, sir, and thanks again. Um, so, question, if I can't, like, call for, if I can't, like, call for backup, and we don't have, like, people, and we don't have, like, choppers coming in to, like, evacuate these people or anything, how are they, like, getting out of this area? I'm also immediate. like, I know this is the first level, so obviously I would get more stuff as the game progresses, but I am very quickly realizing Man, I would love a proper, like, run button. Well, this is an open gate, so I assume this is where I have to go next. I, well, there's another place for an alien keycard here. Some kind of well, I don't so have it. it. It's very garbled, but we've detected it's coming from near you. Maybe there are some civilians trapped. Investigate and do what you can to help. Okay. Well in doubt, uh... Basically stand still and just face tank the enemies <laughs> because apparently it just works <laughs> Like yeah, I could probably just like take cover and you know play tactically Or I could just face tank all the damage and be fine Okay, there's a ladder here. I can't get through it. Do I have any note on there? Uh I do not appear to. Riley, go down. Yeah, I don't appear to have anything to do with that. Unless... I don't know why it would, though. I don't know why it would, but let's, let's see. Maybe I can cut through this, because it looks like it's covered in, like, a film or a web. 
Okay, that works. Uh, let's get up this ladder and just see what's up here. That looks... That is a turret. That is definitely a turret section. Ah, uh, I hope this isn't a... Hey, hold out. Like, hold out on the thing. Also, I... I honestly kind of did... I kind of just stopped paying attention for a second and forgot I had the blade out and not the gun. Not that it made any difference, but still. And that enemy means we got stun locked to death. And we got the key card. Very nice. Wait. Did something spawn behind me? Apparently so. Well, it's dead now. And so is that. Okay. Turret. Let's, let's try these turret controls. Okay. So, my first thought with this is this is a. I think this is. Well, this is supposed to be like a minigun, right? It looks like it's shooting ping pong balls. And also, this does not seem particularly practical. Like, yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna get off the turret and just shoot them with the regular gun. Because honestly, it seems like it'll do more. Also, I apparently don't really take fall damage, so I don't need to worry. So I didn't need to worry about that very much either. Okay, let's cut this open. Now. Okay. Uh, okay, key card required. Let's open that. Okay, there's people here to rescue, I suppose. Are they... Are they gonna talk to me? Hello? Can I attack them? No? That. These guys are... I can walk right through them. I don't know if they're supposed to be in here. <laughs> like, are they meant to be dead? Are they meant to be in there? What's meant to happen? Well, let's just open this up and then go check again. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, God only knows what they would have done to us. Listen, maybe you can help. I need some explosives. Do you know if there are any on this site? Yes, yes. Look, take these. We grabbed them for the other resistance patrol, but they never came back. Hmm, they must have been loose on one. Okay, thanks. Okay, I guess they... I guess maybe they were just... <laughs> they were the guys in here, so I guess... Uh, I guess I just kind of did that in the wrong order. Because I hadn't opened the... Fi like, I opened the door before I opened the gate for them to get out, so I guess that makes sense. So, I guess, now, uh, I've done a fair bit, so I'm going to drop another save. No, I nearly, <laughs> nearly just ran back in there. And it said I need the armed explosives in this to get, assumably, past that. So, let's quickly uh, drop another save, if just in case. Wait, that said 11. <laughs> okay, for, I had to double check that. It said 11 minutes for a second. I thought it meant I was 11% through the game. If I was 11% through the game that fast, I'd be concerned. Okay, so armed explosives. Okay, we can just uh, set them to run away in a cutscene, I suppose. Okay. Explosives primed. Riley, our sensors show a massive energy surge in the area. The explosion set something off. Be sure you take extra care. I don't know, with, with how close I, was I was to that explosion, I'm a bit more concerned about that. Also, this absolutely looks like a, hey, you're going into a boss fight area. Like, but yeah, this mu yeah, this is absolutely a boss fight. No way is it not. to deal with this use the surroundings as cover and avoid the laser fire and whatever you do don't forget the threat from its rockets okay okay so it has its own health bar this is absolutely a boss can i just like what if i just run up here 
Okay, Valeza, Valeza definitely does damage. You know, okay, it's definitely a boss fight because it started playing the music from the, from the, from what you call the title screen. However, uh, I appear to be able to just strafe and spam grenades at it. So this honestly doesn't seem too difficult. I don't know if the game, the game probably doesn't want me to do it this way, but you know what? Well, that's, that's the boss dead, so I'll call that a win, you know? Uh, I'll just pick up some more bullets, and I suppose there must be a couple of, like, basic enemies around. Okay, and with that, they are also dead. We done? Yeah, we're done. Cool. Attention, this is Colonel Grisham speaking. All resistance personnel return to base immediately. We are under attack. I repeat, we are under attack. Colonel? They found us. I don't know how. I'm going to need all available troops back here and get this place evacuated. Transportation's on its way to you now. Grisham, out. Okay, so I am going to... So we've now done the first level. And I am going to end this one off here. So, my first thought is, am I going to continue playing this? Is and like turn it into a full playthrough? Honestly, I might, but I'm not in a massive hurry to do so. But I do kind of want to see a bit more of it, see if it gets a bit harder, see if I like see what kind of weapons and stuff I gain access to. Because, honestly, I wouldn't say that what I played was, like, I wouldn't say that what I just played was bad, but, like, it definitely felt like it was, like, it, it was a first level that felt, like, very much like a first level, I suppose. It was, although, the fact that I took probably, like, 80% of the damage I took in the level to just, like, random, like, not random, but, like, uh, environmental damage kind of says a lot, I think. I'm sure that there's probably, like, one or two bits in this game that are just, like, infuriatingly difficult, but honestly, I've never seen much of it. But, like, yeah, I'm gonna say that I'm not in a rush to, like, replay it. I'm not in a rush to, like, come back and play more of this, but I'm not going to outright just say I won't. But... Yeah, it's probably it's a maybe, but kind of circling on a no. So with that, I am going to end off this quick look at C12 Final Resistance on the PS1. And uh, yeah, as always, feel free to leave a comment or click any of the buttons down below if you're so inclined. And I will hopefully see you all in the next one, where we should have uh, if this is going up, this should be going up on Tuesday. So it should be Persona on Wednesday, another different video on Thursday, Persona again on Friday. But with that, I'm going to end this, this one off here. So uh, yeah, uh, as stated about 20 seconds ago, feel free, feel free to leave a comment or click any button down below if you're so inclined. I will hopefully see you all in the next one. Okay, thanks for watching. Later.